Hello friends and welcome to another video. art studio tour with you guys. I'm really excited because I haven't seen you my behind the scenes process also I'm very prepared today I have my juice and my coffee although I'm not a coffee person coffee makes me go pee pee poo poo yeah I don't know I just I like making it in the morning sometimes and I also like the smell of it this one is vanilla scented Mm. Probably should have bought a vanilla scented candle, but oh well. So yeah, as you know, I am a person with a lot of hobbies. Like, if you're one of these people that are mediocre at many things, like raise your hands. At the moment, I am renting an apartment uh, near the city center. And it's like in an alley. It's near the sea. That's good. It's like a good uh, location, but... <laughs> It's not that big, it's not that bright, uh, it's morning right now, but it's a bit cloudy and so I have my fake light here. My dream in life is to have my own art studio, like the room where I sleep and then another room where I do all my crafts, my photography. I want an already laid, laid out backdrop, which I don't have at the moment. <laughs> yeah, to have like my canvases and my colors everywhere, uh, this flail. Well, I can't do that right now, but what I can do is hide my art studio in my bedroom. <laughs> so today I'm gonna show you how exactly I incorporated all these hobbies and crafts inside this fucking room. <laughs> so we're gonna start with my crafts in uh, jewelry making, my edgy shop gig and all of these. So I'm gonna take you with me a few seconds. So just right below my desk, I have this fucking shelf where I keep everything. Like when I say everything, everything is in here. And also what I do is sort them, sort some materials in these boxes. I got these from IKEA and they're so freaking good. Like, oh my god. You can fit so many stuff in here and you sort them and you can find them easily afterwards when you want to work on them. And also, between my closet and my desk, I have this space where I put all my leftover things. Uh, right now I'm doing some clay stuff and here I have my, all my clay materials and some brushes and things like that. So, wherever I need them, I just take them out and put them here on my desk and yeah and also near near my laptop I have my printer which is uh, basically doing everything right now I'm doing everything on my printer and so I need to have it here although it takes a lot of space as you can see I need to have it here there's no point in taking it in and out all the freaking time of course I have my, my bin here it's very important to keep a bin uh, next to you when you're doing crafts, it's always full. It's it's always full. It's crazy. So yeah, that's the first space. You get this first glimpse, this beautiful decor, and then you go down here, and it's all. <laughs> it's basically the factory where the magic happens. Uh, like I know, can you give a shit about like keep keep all the cool stuff on eye level, and then while well, you don't want people to see it down here, like you only know the existence of these, and I'm really. I'm doing a squat on the floor to show you this, it's really low, so yeah. The next corner in my room, uh, where I'm very excited, it's my keyboard here. This is my, my studio, my music studio. <laughs> so I keep my keyboard near my desk. So whenever I want to record something, I have this cute little, oh, and I have my thingy for the dust. So I have this car right here, and what I do is I just push it here, near this and I just take the cables and put them in my laptop <laughs> and I play and record my MIDI tracks and so this is here. I also have a microphone on this one. My guitars are over here so I can bring them here on the chair where I sit and just you know. I'm gonna take it out of the frame 
because I need the space here to be able to access my library, which again... Hi, <laughs> let me come from here. Again, here in my library, I have all the cool stuff above, like cute books, decor, things like that. As you move down, I have all the crafting materials. So yeah, I, I, I really don't have enough space in my room to film something like this, but oh well. Okay, so this space here is where I put my camera. And here I also have more camera things, like my charger and other things like my other my other lens and here I have a few uh, sketchbooks and my canvases my empty these are my empty canvases and I need to paint them sometime when I have inspiration and down here I have a more also yeah my cable management is shit but yeah well let's ignore that I have my more brushes and some colors and my hot glue gun some glue and some more paint and here I have some more cables and pins and rather mis miscellaneous stuff. We go from this to art supplies at the bottom as well. And what I showed you before, so it's pretty much on the same eye level. Uh, behind me is my keyboard. So, yay! And now I'm gonna show you the most deranged part of my room. So this is my closet and I have this hanger with the clothes, which is very useful if you want to save space. Yeah, this is my closet, as previously mentioned. Nothing wrong with that, as you can like, open it, you see a lot of stuff. Of course, I'm saving some space with a belt doing this here. On top of this is where I keep my tripod, which is where you are standing right now, guys. So I'm not gonna show you this. My lights for photography, which I'm already using right now in my room and my backdrop so as you can see if you if i reach really really back i find shit like this which is for my photography these this shit take a lot of space so i put them here i hide them no one can tell that i have a lot of photography equipment here and also it's really easily accessible for me as a tall gal like i just did this and grab everything and be ready to go in like a minute <laughs> and I also added this fake plant here too because it's so so cute I really don't want to brag but you guys I did an amazing photo shoot the other day so I was at home the other day and I was very very bored and I decided to throw it like a whole photo shoot for my next jewelry collection the rings I'm wearing right now are from my new jewelry collection if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Enough supplies! I came here, this is the corner where I do my photo shoots and shoot most of my videos, like the lookbook ones. You've seen this background before. Um, I take this out. Like, it's easily, you can move it easily. It's... And basically, I added my backdrop from up all the way down. And I decorated this whole area here with candles. I wore my outfit, I wore my jewelry, I put the tripod all the way on the other side of the room. And I just stood here and made my own photo studio. Like I had, uh, I, I, I wish I had recorded a bit of behind the stage because it would have been very uh, interesting if any of you guys are uh, curious about to see my process. So I had like my backdrop here and a lot of fabrics, I put them here as well, like you can hang things and so it became like a whole studio. I had to move my whole furniture to do that because my room is really really small but I achieved a very good result. I'm gonna just add some pictures here to see how it was. I can use my room as a photo studio, as an art studio, printing house, design studio, and music studio, like holy shit, imagine what I will be able to do if I have a whole place for that. Like, I, I am so hyped to find a better place in the future and better my skills in that, because right now it's, it's okay, I'm not, I'm not complaining, like I really love it. It's, it's very convenient, I have everything near me, like if, if I'm doing something I can just move to another thing without moving my ass, but... Uh, I really, I really want an art studio at some point. 
like a real one that I have at the moment and uh, I know a lot of you guys live in small apartments with small rooms and I hope this gives you a bit of motivation to create your art factory inside your own little bedroom <laughs> start small and then you build your way up it's that uh, yeah <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this was just uh, a tour video nothing nothing special but I really like talking about behind the scenes stuff and uh, it's not something that I used to do a lot I just create things and show you what I create and yeah <laughs> I don't know I'm being very awkward today I don't know maybe I should have drank my coffee I don't know maybe my juice because it's they're just standing there getting cold and my juice is getting warm and yeah <laughs> anyway I'll go do that now and I'll see you in my next video bye for now bye